What's up everybody, Dan here from the Headwaters Kayak Shop and as promised, I wanted to give you guys a tour of my new home on the road. This is my new King Star camper, hooked up to my Chevy Silverado, it's a one ton long bed. And basically, I was ready to up my game. I was tired of sleeping in the bed of my truck and at some point it's not really about camping, it's more about the experiences that I'm having. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more conducive to bring the family out with me and uh, this is what I got. So I hooked up with the guys at King Star Camper and I got to talking with them. I really like the layout of this particular unit. I liked that it. it was kind of old school, it was simple. So I really liked it because it had the bunk bed and I could fit my wife, myself, and all three of our kids. It's tight, but we can do it. So let me, uh, let me show you around. So let's start with the truck. This is a 2018 Chevy Silverado. Uh, I've had it for a while. I got about 50,000 miles on it. No bells, no whistles, you know, it's got cloth interior, nothing special. <laughs> Except for that guy, Oh, duty. And then here's the camper itself. I really like the Kingstar camper because it kind of has an old school look, very simplistic, not a lot of bells and whistles, but it definitely has everything that I needed and I was looking for. It's got the hand crank jacks. This is sort of my garage over here. Just keep the basic necessities up in this compartment. There you go, this is my tool bag, my hose, my power, dog food, you know. A little folding table that I put out if I want to have an outdoor kitchen. The idea when we bring our whole family is that the kids can get outside in the morning and we kind of just use it as a place to sleep and uh, but spend most of our time outside cooking doing other things. Got power, 12 volt power out the back. It also has this little spot just to you know connect to your big thing. One thing I really liked about this was the outdoor shower. So if I need to rinse boating gear off at the end of the day, or if I need to rinse kids off or the dog off before they go to bed, I got this guy plumbed in, hot water, ready to go. Um, two propane tanks in here. Got my extension cord. Got my, uh, my, my hookup for the power. And that's about it for the outside. I got a couple of windows. It's got the wall mount AC. But really what it's all about is the inside. So let me take you guys in there and show you around. I don't have the stairs on it because normally I just use the bumper of my trailer. I think what I'm going to do is get one folding step that mounts to here. Oh, there we go. This guy opens up, clicks right in here. And then I've got the screen door. Oh, it's pretty standard stuff. Start of my sticker collection there. I really like the big entryway right here. I've got a spot to uh, store my slippers, camera gear down there. It's kind of at an angle, so I got a big open entry. And as you step in here, you'll see the kitchen. Got the sink, the little stove. I like how simple it is. Just two burners, real basic, basic sink. You know, I don't need much, man. I'm used to sleeping in the bed of my truck, so even this feels insanely luxurious. Yeah, cabinets. I haven't got it super organized yet, but you know. It's getting there. It'll be a project. It'll be a process. I'm sure my wife will help get me dialed in. Pantry is up here. This is our little toiletry department. Anyway, it's got a microwave that only works when it's plugged in. Never used it. A little fridge that's propane and electric. Got my basic necessities in there. The bedroom area. What I liked was these little cubbies. It's got the radio that's Bluetooth, also plays DVDs. Place, t uh, you know, TV. Basically, that is where the kids can keep themselves entertained. If we need to be inside, we can watch a movie, hang out. It's all LED lights all around. So I've got my little USB powered AC that runs off battery, and uh, obviously it just plugs in right there. I got my phone charger, so that can all be right above my head. And then I've got this little guy. This is if I'm plugged in. I've got a wall mount AC. I love the fact that it's wall mounted and not on top of the rig. Uh, that just the less weight, the the less clearance issues I have, the better. But I really like how they utilize the space on top. One of my favorite things about this rig is this guy right here. It can either be a screen or block, or best yet, pop a couple of these little flips, and now I can get out there and uh, assess the situation in the morning, see what's going on. The living room here is pretty awesome. It's got a couch, and when I'm traveling solo, that's how I use it. I use it as a couch. And then when I'm traveling with family, it actually makes a bunk. I'll show you guys that in a second. 
this little guy pulls up. I got one table here, and then the other table slides out here. So usually when I'm chilling, I've got my little workstation where I'm running my laptop, editing my videos, uh, eating dinner, breakfast, whatever. I also like the ground here. It's completely covered in storage. Every one of these little guys flips open. So there I've got spare blankets. My batteries live in there. This is my dirty clothes department. More clothes, dog food. I like how all the, the drawers are also soft touch, so they kind of close themselves. And then the floor lifts up and I've got more storage, so keep my extra shoes in there. Uh, here's the bathroom. I really like how huge the bathroom is. This was one of the selling points for me. I don't know why, but I just love that space, all that room, mostly for drying wet boating gear, to be honest with you. You know, I can just kind of have my gear in here. Don't have to worry about it too much. I can just leak through, drain out the floor, no problem. The other thing I really liked is a lot of campers have a cassette style toilet, which is cool. It's easy to, to take the poo out. But the nice thing about this is this whole thing can just come right out. I literally can just pop this guy and then this whole toilet can just lift right out. I just put this up. So if we're camped out somewhere, I can have a little tent set up so the kids and everyone can go to the bathroom outside. I'm of the mindset of, I don't want to use this thing unless I absolutely have to because I don't want to have to deal with cleaning it. I've done it a couple times. It's not that big of a deal. But, you know, it's not my favorite thing in the world to, to clean out a poopy toilet. There you go. Anyway, it's got the shower. You know, just simple shower. Wash the kids off again. I've yet to use it. We've used the outside one, but we don't really mess with the inside. Over here, I've got the little closet department as we walk in. More storage. This is my wife's touch here. She, I always run a headlamp because I paddle at night a lot and strapping down my boats. I always want to have the headlamp. So I got the headlamp and I got the key department, a little storage there. Anyways, you guys get the deal. It is so much better for me. I'm really, really excited about it. It means I can spend a lot more time on the road making videos for you guys, be a lot more comfortable. I'm not always trying to rush out of wherever I'm at to find a place to safe place to sleep. I can just sort of call the road home. Uh, over here, I've got my little voltmeter, more USB chargers, water pump, water heater, dummy switch. Let me make this into a bed real quick, the bunk bed, so you guys can check that out. All right, so it picks up and then I've got like a little latch, latches it in place. And I've got these little legs that flip down. Pop those guys up. And voila. This is my son's little spot down here. Obviously, we make the bed with a sheet. And then another spot here. What I really like about this one is this bed's pretty good size. And then they put this additional pad here. So we can sort of put the little one's head here. So we have three. My daughter goes here. And then worst case, the little one kind of jumps over to our bed, which is fine. My spot's back there in the corner because I want to be out of the way. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this little camper with five of us in here. So I like to be tucked away. So thank you guys so much for joining me on the tour. If you guys have any more questions, do me a favor, leave them in the comment section. I will do my best to try to get to those. If you're looking to buy a Kingstar camper, let me know. I'll help facilitate it, especially if you're on the West Coast. So it's a little way to kind of support the channel. If you're gonna, if you're in the market for an RV anyway, definitely worth checking this one out. I'm super impressed by it. I love how simple it is. It's not like overbuilt. It doesn't have 10 different awnings and slide outs. It's just really simple and it's pretty affordable. You know, I shopped around for a little bit to try to find the right thing for our family. And this just fit our needs perfectly, fit our budget well. And I was really impressed with just how everything was made. Like all the cabinets are real wood. It's not like that particle board with stickers on it like you see in most RVs. So definitely check out Kingstar Camper. You can follow these guys on Instagram at the Kingstar Company. They make some really cool rigs. They're fairly new to this game, but I think you're gonna see a lot more from these guys in the future. Thanks so much for checking out my rig today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Until next time, you guys, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.